Grace from Storytime Love. Today we're reading Red Knit Cap Girl and the Reading Tree by Naoko Stoop. Red Knit Cap Girl and the Reading Tree. It is too hot to run and too hot to play. Red Knit Cap Girl and White Bunny find a shady spot and read. Squirrel wants to show them something, but he won't tell them what. You'll see when we get there, is all he will say. Red Nick Cap Girl and White Bunny scamper after Squirrel. What a big oak tree, Red Nick Cap Girl says when Squirrel points. Not the tree, Squirrel says. Look inside. Red Nick Cap Girl looks inside the hole in the trunk. That's what I want to show you all, Squirrel says. It's called a nook. What is it for? says Bear. Redneck Cap Girl listens to the leaves rustling and feels the soft grass under her feet. She looks again at the nook. I have an idea, she says. Redneck Cap Girl puts her book inside where it will stay safe and dry. I will keep my book in this nook so everyone can read it, Redneck Cap Girl says. I will keep my book in this nook so everyone can read mine too, White Bunny says. I will too! says Squirrel. Great idea. Bear cheers. Hedgehog is too excited to speak. He just squeaks. Eek! Eek! The birds swoop down. We have something to share too. I don't have a book, Beaver says sadly. He wants to share something. Then Beaver gets an idea. He gnaws and hauls with his teeth and thumps with his tail until he built a strong bookshelf. Everyone admires it. The next day, Deer brings his book to the nook. Duck follows with her book. Turtle has so many books to share that she carries them on her back. Sly Fox doesn't help. She sneaks to the nook when she thinks no one is looking. How silly they are, leaving all these books here for me to steal, she says as she takes one. The other animals bring more books to the nook. They read every day until the air turns clear and crisp and cold. It is autumn now, too cold to sit still around the nook. Snuggle under these, the sheep say. They've made warm wool blankets for everyone. Then the nook is even cosier. All summer, all fall, Owl and Moon have been watching Red Knit Cap Girl and her friends. Now it is almost winter. Days are shorter and dark comes earlier. Owl and Moon talk in hushed voices about what Red Knit Cap Girl and her friends have done. We can help too, Moon says, and she tells Owl how. They work all night long. In the morning, Redneck Cat Girl and her friends see what Owl has made for them. Redneck Cat Girl reads a sign out loud. Library, she says. A library is a place where anyone can borrow a book. Redneck Cat Girl winks at Sly Fox, who smiles shyly back. That night, Moon shines her light on the nook and the friends read. Sly Fox returns the book she took and Redneck Cat Girl reads it out loud to everyone. Thank you, Redneck Cat Girl, says the little ones who can't read yet. Thank you, deer, bear, birds, duck, squirrel, hedgehog, beaver, sheep, turtle and the turtle babies, Sly Fox, owl, white bunny and Moon. Thank you for making our library, says Redneck Cat Girl. It is good to share books. We're sharing books on Storytime Love. Are you enjoying the stories? What story shall we read next on Storytime Love?